Zach and Taylor, hi, and congratulations What's on up? season two. Hello, thank you. Thank thank you. you. I want to first ask both of you to address the pandemic that we're going through. Can you two talk to me about how it's affected your business and also how you both adjust it? Well, you know, it's uh, for me, <clears throat> um, I'm really big on doing open houses. So I love sitting open houses and things like that because that's a great way to meet, you know, potential clients. So with the uh, pandemic going on, it's shut down, you know, open houses and uh, brokers opens and being able to just kind of just freely go see what's new on the market, you know, because you have clients who are, I have, I still have clients who are actively looking, but, you know, it's a little bit harder to get out there and kind of look at these properties and, and see if this is something that would vibe with my clients right now. And uh, so it's, it's, it's different. It's, 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 a, it's a change, you know what I mean? But uh, everybody's going through it. So it's just like you said, you just try, it's trying to adjust the best way you can. Yeah, being what, in a pandemic. Go ahead. I was going to say, can you speak on that too, Taylor? Thank you. Yeah. So <laughs> we're obviously, we're essential workers. So we, you know, business is continuing. It's just, it's a little bit different. You have to jump through a few more loops. Uh, like you said, like Zach said, the marketing is obviously different. You can't do the open houses that you would normally do. So you just kind of have to adjust. But I really have not seen um, any bit of slowdown in the market. I feel like my clients are still actively looking. I have a $2 million listing. I just leased out a $45,000 a month lease. So business is still going and there's definitely still clientele. It's just as far as marketing goes, as far as showing goes, it's just a little bit different. You have to adjust. It's not the most convenient situation, but business is going on. Real estate is going on. People are going to continue to buy, sell, and lease houses, and you just have to adjust with the environment. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm looking on the MLS. There's $6 million, $9 million, you know, $4 million houses being sold. You know, like Taylor said, mm -hmm. leasing right now is, is huge because you got to understand, like, in LA, we shut down so early that the, the the numbers weren't rising as far as coronavirus. So you had a lot of people coming out here just wanted to rent short term just to get away from mm -hmm. their environments. Like I know people from New York who have moved out here just to, to get yep. out of New York. You know what I mean? So it's, there's a lot mm -hmm. of moving parts right now. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a good point when you talk about the people moving trying to kind of get away from the pandemic and other areas, which has kind of helped you guys out. Mm hmm Definitely. Yes, definitely, yeah. definitely has. Good. Good. So, Zach, this piece starts off showing you um, in action with the client of Biblical Fox. And you touch on your okay. feelings of anxiety and uh, being a little less confident simply because this is still you navigating a new career. Can you talk to me a little bit about the steps you've taken to go from football player to real estate? Yeah, so it's. um. For me, you know, most of my clientele at this point has been former, you know, teammates of mine, people that I know, you know, on a, on a strong level. So I can relate. I relate to them at a different level. So, you know, the the narrative and walking them through properties and things like that is a little more. I know their speed. Right. So, you know, venturing and, you know, when showing Vivica a new property, you know, she's a female client um, and uh, a list celebrity. You know, it's this is a different niche, you know, trying to break into and especially, you know, she's with the people that she knows as far as referral basis that she's already reached out to me on a referral. Like right now I'm looking for properties for somebody she's reached out to me for, you know what I mean? So uh, it was important to, to just kind of show that you're, you, you know what you're doing. And, and like I said, it was just, I'm used to working with, you know, men and the guys that I know. So this was a different realm for me. Um, and uh, so, it, it, but it, it went well, it went really good. Vivica is, probably the dopest person I've met, man. She's so stupid. She's so down to earth. So cool. So that's, that's the, one of the biggest things you kind of, you just don't know how some of these celebrities are going to interact. You know what I mean? So you're sitting there because everybody's different. So you got some who are think they're better than, than God, you know what I mean? And then some who are down to earth. So it's just, it's just the, it just depends on who you come up with. And, and Vivica was dope. Man. It was, it was a great process. Yeah, and it's interesting to see that dynamic, like you said, um, how it varies with different clients. <laughs> Mm -hmm, exactly. Like so it's just, yeah. Are, it also looks like that you, Zach, are bringing some of the love or trying to bring some of the love to love and listen <laughs> this season. What are we going to see from a relationship side of things? Man, it happened. <clears throat> everything happened kind of very fast uh, this season as far as um the love aspect of the love and listening. So 
Like it was um every it happened fast, man. And so, it, like I said, I don't want to give too much, but it's gonna be interesting. There's there's a lot of twists and turns with my storyline this year, and it's all and it's all you know real stuff. This is this is real. You know, this is this is as real as it gets. So. Um, there's, there's no fake storyline or whatever the case may be. What you see is what you get. What you see is what was going on, like at that time. So, all real time, and it's it's a it's a it's it's a roller coaster. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Now, Taylor, you kick off season two with a big surprise for fans. How did a friendship happen with you and Johnny? <laughs> Uh, Ajani and I um, we definitely bonded uh, after season one aired so she's at my birthday party and we just realized we have more in common than we don't and so it's kind of like you know we're minority we're black women in a predominantly white male industry and for us to be fighting each other it's like why are you fighting your teammate why are you fighting somebody who's on the same side as you who's going through the same things as you so we just realized you know it's, it's better and it's easier for us to actually get along and to work together and to uplift each other so that's kind of where we came to and we completely did a 180 in our relationship and I love her and I'm just so glad that we've come together now and I'm sure it surprised the viewers it surprised me too but we're here we're (laughs) friends we're cool So you imagine the viewers, yeah, imagine yeah. us being there like, wait, Taylor and Ajani? Like, they straight? <laughs> like, we good? Right. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's like, what's happening here? And there's still yeah. some tense moments with you two. So does the friendship last? I mean, you'll have to see. Obviously, every friendship has its up and ups and downs. Every friendship has its tribulations. Um, but overall, you know, that's my girl. If we fight, we fight, whatever. But at the end of the day, we're on the same team now and we're working, you know, together. We we're in this industry together. So if I can help her, I'll help her. If she can help me, she'll help me. But is there going to be a little bit of tension here and there? Of course, naturally. But overall, that's my girl. <laughs> well, I appreciate you two for taking the time to speak with the Trivia Report. And again, congratulations on season two. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. 